Today we're going to talk about depreciation and the three allowable methods for financial accounting. The three allowable methods that we're going to go over today are straight line depreciation, declining balance depreciation, and actual use depreciation. Let's start with straight line depreciation. Today we're going to go over an example with an asset that costs $45,000. It has a salvage value of $5,000 and a useful life of five years. To calculate the annual depreciation expense, we take the cost and subtract the salvage value that's known as the depreciable base, and then we divide that number by the useful life in years. So to calculate our annual depreciation expense, we're going to take 45,000, subtract 5,000, and divide that by the five years, and we come up with a depreciation expense of $8,000 per year. So what our amortization chart is going to show us is not only each year's expense, but each year's accumulated depreciation and each year's book value. So with straight line depreciation, our expense is going to stay $8,000 each year. So I can fill in the formula to put our expense for $8,000 each year. Now the accumulated depreciation is the sum total of the depreciation expense taken to date. So the first year it's just $8,000, second year it's $8,000 plus $8,000, third year it's $8,000 plus $8,000 plus $8,000, and so on. So to put in a formula to calculate our accumulated depreciation, I'm going to tell Excel to add the range to the left. So to sum from B12 to B12. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the first cell reference and I'm going to put in an absolute cell reference. So the formula, the instruction that I'm giving Excel is to sum from B12, the year one expense, to the cell that is one to the left of the current one. So when I hit enter, you see that my accumulated depreciation will be 8,000, 16, 24, 32, and 40,000. So now I'm going to calculate my book value. Now, as you can see, my book value is the cost minus the accumulated depreciation, and the goal of any depreciation system is to depreciate the depreciable base, the cost minus the salvage value, so in this case, $40,000, will be depreciated over the five-year period. And we can see that over the five-year period, our accumulated depreciation is 4000 so at the end of the five-year period, if we've done this correctly, our book value should equal our salvage value of $5,000. So to calculate our book value, we're going to take the cost of the asset, and I'm going to make that an absolute cell reference because the cost is in one cell and it doesn't change, and I'm going to tell Excel to calculate the accumulated depreciation and now we have calculated our book value at the end of each year taking our accumulated depreciation and our book value at the end of year five is five thousand and the book value stays at five thousand on our books until the asset is either sold or disposed of now some businesses use what is known as a half year convention so instead of keeping track exactly how many days they've owned the asset for the year, they just assume that every asset that they purchase was acquired six months into the year. Now this doesn't always hold, but it does hold a lot of times. It doesn't hold if you purchase most of your assets during the fourth quarter of the year. So to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to take half of the depreciation expense in the first year and half of the depreciation expense in the last year. So we're going to have four full years of depreciation plus two half years is going to equal five years 
over six calendar years. So in our first year, our depreciation expense is going to be the $8,000, but multiplied by 0.5 or 50%. So we'll use the same formula for the accumulated depreciation as before. We'll take the sum of the expense and we'll click in the first cell and we'll hit our F4 to calculate that accumulated depreciation and just like before our book value is the cost minus the accumulated depreciation. Now for years 2, 3, 4, and 5 our depreciation expense is going to be 8000 And in our final year, the depreciation expense is once again going to be half of 8000 So a half in the first year, a half in the last year, and a full expense in the years in between. So notice we come to the same accumulated depreciation, and we come to the exact same book value at the end of year 6. The next method we're going to look at is declining balance depreciation. When you use declining balance depreciation, you take more depreciation expense in the early years of the asset's life. That gives you a tax benefit right after you've purchased the asset. To demonstrate declining balance depreciation, we're going to use an asset with the same information that we used for straight line. The cost of the asset is $45,000, the salvage value is $5,000, and the useful life is 5 years. But with declining balance depreciation, you can't just call it declining balance. You need a declining balance rate. So in this case, our declining balance rate is going to be 200%. That's why I called it DDB for double declining balance, which is the most common rate but you can have anything. You can have 300% declining balance, 150% declining balance, but double declining balance is the most popular. So there's several steps that you have to take to calculate dep depreciation expense using double declining balance. The first step is to calculate the straight line rate, and the straight line rate is one over the useful life. So to calculate our straight line rate, we take 1 divided by the useful life of 5 years, and we get a straight line rate of 1 fifth or 20%. Now the second step is to multiply the straight line rate by the declining balance rate. So in this case we have a double declining balance rate, 200%. We multiply 200% by the 1 fifth, and we wind up getting 2 fifths, or 40%. So here I'm going to take my 200% and multiply it by my 1 fifth, and notice how we get a rate of 40%. Now, in order to calculate our expense in step 3, we're going to multiply our declining balance percentage. This is going to be our 40% by the beginning book value each year. So what I've done is I've prepared an amortization chart and we're going to go through how to calculate the depreciation expense each year. So at year zero you're going to see why we're going to start off at year zero. If we start off at year zero we can just copy all the formulas in year one. So at the end of year zero I start off with my beginning book value and my beginning book value is going to be my cost of $45,000. So my ending book value at the end of year zero is the same as my beginning book value for year one. So now in year one, my beginning book value, I'm going to tell Excel that whatever was my ending book value for the previous year, I want that same number to be my beginning book value for the next year. Now my declining balance percentage is going to be 
and it's going to stay 40% for the entire five years. So now to calculate my depreciation expense, I'm going to take my beginning book value and multiply it by my declining balance percentage. So to calculate my first year's depreciation expense, I take 45,000, I multiply it by the 40%, and I get a first year expense of $18,000. So you remember the formula that I used before for the accumulated depreciation. I'm gonna tell Excel to sum from the 18,000 to the 18,000, but I'm going to use an absolute cell reference for the first number. So I'm telling Excel to always start off at year one, but to end at the current year. So notice my first year accumulated depreciation is 18,000. And as you can see up on top, book value is always cost minus accumulated depreciation. So I'm going to tell Excel to take whatever the cost of my asset is and subtract my accumulated depreciation. Now let's go through the calculations for year two, one by one, even though I can just copy all of the formulas down. So notice I ended year one with an ending book value of $27,000. I took double the amount of straight line depreciation and I based it on the original cost, not the, um, I didn't take into account the salvage value at the beginning like I did with straight line depreciation. Notice it was the beginning book value, not the depreciable base. So at the beginning of the second year, my book value is now $27,000. Well, my rate is still 40%, but now my second year expense is 40% of $27,000, not 40% of the original cost. So if I calculate 27,000 multiplied by 40%, I now get $10,800. My accumulated depreciation would be 18 plus 10,800, which would be 28,800 and my ending book value becomes 45,000 minus 28,800, 16,200. Now I have to watch that ending book value because even though salvage value wasn't taken into account in the beginning, we're not going to depreciate past salvage value. So we're going to make sure that that last year is adjusted so that our ending book value becomes our salvage value of $5,000. So at the end of year two, we have a book value of 16200 We start off year three with a book value of 16200 Our rate still stays at 40%, but now it's 40% of our beginning book value of $16,200. So our depreciation expense 40% of $16,200, $6,480. Our accumulated depreciation is now all three depreciation expenses added together, which is $35,280. And our ending book value is now $45,000 minus which is $9,720. We continue to repeat this pattern in year four. Our beginning book value is year three's ending book value, 9,720. Our rate stays at 40%. Depreciation expense 40% times 9,720 gives us $3,888. Accumulated depreciation, 39,168, the sum of those four numbers, all for depreciation expense, and our book value, $45,000 minus 39,168 is $5,832. Now it's very easy to calculate our depreciation expense for year five. We're just going to round it. We need to come down to 5,000 
So a depreciation expense of $832 in year five is going to do it. Our accumulated depreciation now becomes 40,000 and our ending book value, 5,000. So our final year is just adjusted so our book value comes out correctly. Now we're going to learn how to calculate annual depreciation expense using a half year convention. We're going to do basically the same amortization chart that we did previously, but now what's going to happen is our first year rate, instead of 40%, it's going to be 40% multiplied by one half. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first depreciation expense and just multiply that by 0.5 and then we're going to continue the same pattern with the next years not multiplied by 0.5 with once again our final year adjusted. We're going to see that we may have to go down to six years when we use the double declining balance with a half year convention. So we're going to start off the same way that we did before. We're going to have a year zero ending book value, which is going to be the same amount as our cost of $45,000. So our beginning book value for year one is going to be the same as the previous year's ending book value. That allows us to copy that same formula down to years two, three, four, five, and six, Otherwise, if we didn't use a year zero, we would need a different formula in year one than years two, three, four, five, and six. Now, we're just going to adjust our declining balance percentage for the first year. For the first year, we're going to take our declining balance percentage, but multiply it by one half or 0.5, And the next years are going to stay at 40% with our final year adjusted. So now we're going to follow the exact same pattern that we did before. So our first year depreciation expense is going to be 45,000 multiplied by the 40% multiplied by 50%, multiplied by one half. So it will be half of the first year's depreciation expense, so 9,000 instead of 18,000. So our accumulated depreciation, we're going to use the same formula that we did before. Tell Excel to take the sum of column D, but to always start from the first year, and end in the current year. So our first year's accumulated depreciation is 9,000, and our ending book value is the same formula that we used before, our cost minus our accumulated depreciation. So now we're going to use the same pattern that we did before. Our year one ending book value is now 36,000 instead of 27,000. So now we'll carry the 36,000. Now our depreciation expense for year two is 36,000 times 40%. That equals $14,400. Our accumulated depreciation, 9,000 plus $14,400 with an ending book value of our cost of 45,000 minus our accumulated depreciation gives us $21,600. We still carry the same pattern through, 21,600 beginning book value year three, same as ending book value year two, multiply that by 40% to get our depreciation expense, add all three together, to get our accumulated depreciation, all three depreciation expense, to get accumulated depreciation, and our ending book value stays at 45,000 minus the accumulated depreciation. Year four, we carry the same pattern, 
beginning book value of twelve thousand nine hundred and sixty depreciation expense forty percent of that number accumulated depreciation the sum total of the four years of depreciation ending book value seven thousand seven hundred and seventy six dollars year five start off with our seven thousand seven hundred and seventy six dollars forty percent it looks like it's going to be too much so it looks like we're not even going to get to year six we're going to have to adjust that ending book value so we'll have to take whatever remains which is going to be two thousand seven hundred and seventy six dollars we'll adjust that last number come down to forty thousand accumulated depreciation and an ending book value of five thousand dollars now we're going to go through our final method of calculating depreciation expense for financial accounting which is actual use depreciation. Actual use is similar to straight line, but we use the useful life in units. In this case, it's going to be 100,000 miles. We're talking about a vehicle. And one of the disadvantages of actual use depreciation is we have to keep track of our actual use. So we're going to assume five years of use with year one 30,000 miles, year two 20,000 miles, year three 20,000 miles, year four 15,000 miles, and year five 15,000 miles. So very, very similar to straight line, we're going to calculate a depreciation rate, which is our cost minus our salvage value, and we divide by the useful life, but this time we're going to divide by the useful life in units. So, we're going to take our original cost of $45,000, subtract the salvage value of $5,000, that becomes a depreciable base of $40,000, divide that by our useful life of 100,000 miles, and we're going to get a depreciation rate of $0.40 cents per mile. Now we're going to use our rate in our amortization chart to calculate our annual depreciation expense. Our first year use is 30,000 miles, so we're going to put the 30,000 miles in year one. Our rate is going to stay at 40 cents per mile for the entire five year period. So for the first year, our depreciation expense is going to be the 30,000 30, miles of use multiplied by our rate of 40 cents per mile, which is going to give us $12,000. Our accumulated depreciation, we're going to use the same formula that we did before. We're going to tell Excel to sum from the year one depreciation expense to the current year depreciation expense and our book value is the same calculation that we did before the cost of forty five thousand dollars minus the accumulated depreciation so year two we can see that our use was twenty thousand miles so our year two depreciation expense is twenty thousand multiplied by point four which gives us $8,000. Our year two accumulated depreciation, 12 plus 8,000, gives us 20,000, and our book value would be 45,000 minus 20,000, which gives us $25,000. Year three, once again, we have to go to our use. Our use in year three was another 20,000 miles, so we put on our 20,000 miles, Therefore, our year two and year three depreciation expense is the same. Both are 20,000 multiplied by 0.4. Accumulated depreciation, 12 plus eight plus eight gives us $28,000. And book value, 45,000 minus 28,000 gives us 17,000. Year four, we can see our use was 15,000 miles. So our year four depreciation expense, 15,000 multiplied by 0 
gives us 6,000. Accumulated depreciation, sum total of the four years of depreciation expense, $34,000. And book value, 45,000 minus 34,000 gives us 11,000. The last year we can see our use is 15,000 miles. It didn't have to be. With actual use depreciation, we don't have to use it in the useful life of five years. We just keep taking depreciation expense until we reach the 100,000 miles. So notice our depreciation expense is the same in year five, 6,000. We are now up to 40,000 in accumulated depreciation and an ending book value of 5,000. So just like in all the other methods, once you get to a book value of 5000 you don't take any more depreciation expense. You can still use the asset. It just stays on the books with a book value of $5,000 until you sell it or dispose of it.